Now let's model the rest of the leg here. So it's also a good idea to go through and name your stuff sometimes. So this is our main body, main body, or cabin. Cabin, and this is cabin mesh, and this is our foot base. South foot front, south foot back. This is our leg, foot, joint. Okay, so we want to now make this object here. Now we could use a spline, but once again, uh, let's just grab this foot front. Let's move this across here. Let's rotate him. Out here, let's go to points. Let's get grab both these points. Let's move them up here. Let's move this point in here. And let's go to knife tool. Add a knife cut. Grab this point. Move them up here. And maybe let's add another knife cut here and let's go up to get that little bevel thing going. As you notice, we have the bevel but it's else is a bit too wide so let's scale let's go scale to scale this guy in so it's kind of inset into there and let's put this thing into a hypernub it's not quite what we're looking for here oh yeah because we don't want the bevel here so let's go to our selection tool let's deselect this and deselect this edge and go select and set selection while this tag is still selected so we'll modify it and then ta-da we have our edge now as you can see it's not quite matching I think it's a bit too smooth so let's go to our knife tool and let's add a, another cut here there we go and now we have our nice easily modifiable leg Maybe it's a bit too wide, so let's just scale it in a bit. That looks about right. So, next step, let's add our cylinders here. So, let's go cylinder. Let's move this guy over. Also, you'll notice my cylinder, yours probably, when you make a cylinder, will have 36 uh, rotation segments. I've changed that to 12 and then go edit, set as default because it's very rare that you need 36 of them. So let's rotate this guy around. Or actually, not. let's keep that at zero. Let's just change this to plus X. And let's go here and let's go and scale them up so it matches our circle there. And let's scale him down so he's not so big. And let's control click and drag him to the center of this circle and scale him down. Because the pivot point will be here. This is our pivot which connects these two things. This is just more of a protector kind of circle. So let's move this guy out. Okay, now here also we might want to do the following. We might want to make it editable. Let's select with UL, so V select loop selection. Select these guys. Let's press the I key and let's drag it in. And then let's press the D key and drag it in again. And now the good thing about this is once again, if you just put this cylinder into a hypernobs, we get a couple of issues. Firstly, we get a sharp edge here and a smooth one. The reason you get a sharp edge here is by default the cylinder caps, they're not attached. So if we select, for example, these cylinder faces and we move them, as you can see, they're not attached to their main mesh. So what we want to do is we want to deselect everything, go right click, and it is called optimize. It's down here, you can't see it, it's off the screen. It's anyway, it's optimized. So you click it and then everything's together. And now we get these smooth edges, which aren't very mechanical. So what we do is we do our chamfer selection thing again. So let's go edges, move tool, double click, shift double click, shift double click on this edge, wherever it is, it's 10 of five nubs. There you go. Shift double click, shift double click, and shift double click. 
and now we can just hold the alt key and go uh, plugins and chamfer maker so you can see they're very big so let's change them to one and there you go we have a nice little chamfer so let's give them some subdivision and as you can see it's nice and if we turn on the hypernerves there you go we get our nice beveled edges in the right place and it looks very correct well, to be honest I want this to be thicker so once again this makes it easy so we just go to our uh, faces and we select these faces here and we can drag them out and we can select these faces here and we can drag them out and there you go quick and easy and easily modifiable now this cylinder here if you want you can do the same thing you do with this one or you can just go caps and fillet and change this to one and one maybe two here and let's push its segments up to 50 so it's smooth it's also an approach if you're not going to be edit editing the cylinder it's just as good approach so we got that done uh, now we gotta let's go shift V again let's make this a bit more visible so we're gonna have a circle a cylinder there and we're gonna have this thing coming out of there here and another piece here connecting to this circle here so let's build that let's get our cylinder you can just grab this cylinder and just control click and drag it here right click make it bigger because I think this cylinder we're not going to be adding any bevels into it ah can't see it right now because it's behind so let's get all our leg objects so all of these and let's move them across there we go so this object currently not very aligned so let's move them back here now okay so let's go to our object tool let's scale them in a bit if you notice when you're in the move tool and this tool you can and this is still a primitive you haven't made editable you can scale them down now let's go back to our trusty front foot here because we're going to need them to make this object here so let's control click and drag them up here let's rotate them around let's go and get our mesh get our point mode and let's apply him to all the right places now let's go to our knife tool K make sure it's in loop mode add like two cuts here let's go to faces select this face here and move it up and this face here and move it up and let's scale this whole object down a bit and we have a nice bevel there but still kind of sharp there so let's put in a hypernerb there you go we get our nice object the one that we wanted here it is it matches pretty close and we're going to want one more object to connect the foot here so let's just yeah let's just control click and drag this guy over scale him down get out points here and drag these points out drag this point in, drag this point out and we're obviously going to want to this guy kind of scale them down so object mode let's scale tool and scale them out and yeah, let's just get so here let's make sure it attaches so get out points and let's move them out here and there we have it pretty nifty stuff right let's add another little cylinder here just so it's a bit more of a let's drag it out a bit scale it down it's a small bit in. so we just add a little you know, so it's not just flat. And now.
now, let's figure. Let's apply some more materials to this. Most of this guy is going to be yellow, except here we just want a strip of black. So let's get this foot here. Let's get our polygons. Let's go UL for loop selection, and let's go materials and apply a black material there. So we have a strip of black there. Now all the others will be yellow and we'll apply it to the top object so we don't have to apply it to each individual object. Individually we should apply these material tags like to an object only if that object has selection tags. So for example this has selection tags as you can see here. So we need to apply it otherwise you can't use the selection tags. But for everything else when we group everything into one null we will just apply yellow to that and it'll all be yellow. So let's start grouping these guys because for animation we're gonna have to group them 